There was a German where I was in the first camp. We called him Battenschlag. He had like a, a stick, and he always, instead of touching your hair, whatever, he would pick it up. So oh, in the morning, like I said, he would come in and pick somebody and later on kill. Battenschläger, that means that Button is a, a he had a stick, Baton. whatever, and with the stick he was hitting, or we wanted to touch, or whatever day, or whatever, because he didn't ever touch the person unless he took somebody that he liked and cleaned him up, I suppose. And, and Schläger means hidden, a guy that hits. Okay. So he was just, he yeah. used his stick always, a lot. Always, and, always, always okay. hitting. They never passed by without giving you a smile. He was one of the meanest yeah, that you remember? The one that did that, yeah, openly. Anybody that got so sick were taken out and killed. That's what we knew. And he was very famous for for taking out people and killing. When I let off from the from the trucks, I was burning up. Mm. Uh, so we never seen a doctor or anything, but a doctor came in. We were laying on the floors, and a man I didn't know. It's a doctor came over and said, "I'll take you to the hospital." I said, "No." I don't want to go in the hospital because Patton Schlage is here. He said, I promise you on the Bible that you won't be picked. Nobody's picked. I say, why? When he did it there, why wouldn't he do it here? And Patton Schlage had a, his wife was very sick. All the Germans, the best doctors said she can't live. So the doctor said to him, if I make your wife not die, if you give me a warrant that you never touch a person from my hospital, but Kemp, he couldn't do anything but hospital. So I went with him. It was him. The bed was clean, and pillows, and food from the camp, but I better put the thicker one. And a shower, yeah. and they had a little garden, and when the sun came out, you sat down outside. I couldn't believe I said that died and I'm in heaven. And I wish I would know where that actor is. I looked later, but you know, we were so messed up. We couldn't find anybody. So in speaking of prayer, how did you feel about, like, no, where was God? When I was in camp, and I was so sick, and I knew that they killed my parents, how could you be happy or think about something when you... There was nothing to look forward. I I didn't believe in anything. I said, there's no God to myself. But I do believe that it's a God and that I was saved through him. I, and I will die with it, remembering what happened. It's always in my mind, always thinking about it, always saying, why am I still here? Why so many people had to go? Always thinking, never forgetting. It's always in my mind. It took years and years that I didn't even talk about it to anybody. So do you have peace about what happened to your family and what happened to so many people do you have forgiveness for the people that did those things? I don't have any animosity, but uh, I'm not in love with them. More specifically, have you or would you be willing to ever forgive Botten Slate? No. no. No? You couldn't forgive Never. him? No. Okay. 
Uh, like I said, the, the ones that did the, the killing, never. You, I can't even see if a fish, I wouldn't kill the fish, but I could kill him if I had a chance. I still have some hate in me, which I can't erase it.